Welcome back, watch fans. I got another one. And this time, I actually already know what it is. And I'm really excited. <clears throat> and hopefully you will be too, but I don't think you will because this is another Ingersoll. But again, like I promised, I'm almost out of models to look at. I have bought almost everything there is from Ingersoll. That's not true. There's still a bunch more. But I know what it is because I basically bought the last couple watches that um, Ingersoll um, has from their more recent line of watches. And I'm pretty excited because to me, right, you know, everyone's got like a grail watch. Now, I'm not going to really say that necessarily. Uh, I mean, not everybody does. So that's a term. For those who don't know, what grail watch is that watch that you have been looking for and haven't found. So, um, ah, I'll talk about that later. All right. Let's just get into it first. Amazing box. I am going to build a uh, box fort with these. This is exactly what I thought it was, and I'm super excited. Ladies, gentlemen, I present to you the Columbus. All right, watch this video. Alright, so I hope you liked that video. Uh, obviously, I play that on all my Ingersoll uh, videos. If you haven't already seen it, um, almost everybody's seen it. If you are a, a fan of my watch or you are subscribed to my channel, you can't help it. I put that for every single one. Um, sorry, I was cleaning this. But... Um, Yes, this watch is really important to me. Um, it's one that I've been looking for for sort of a while. Um, I don't want to go into too much details on the conversation because I know that people are here really to see the watch. This is a fantastic watch. It uh, has moon phase. It has date. It has day of the week. And it also tells you what week you are in. 
uh, in the year and month, which is spectacular. Now, I want to go into a little bit of detail um, of what I was talking about before. For those who don't know, the term Grail Watch is uh, just, it's a um, sort of a pun on a play on the term the Holy Grail, right? People are always searching for it uh, to try and find it. It gives you eternal life. Now, I don't know that a watch will give you eternal life, but it's that thing which everybody wants that they can't find uh, or they can't have, right? So a lot of people consider Grail Watch to be like, I don't know, uh, you know, an Omega Speedmaster or a Rolex Submariner or, or something of that sort. Um, I have a couple Grail watches, I guess, right? I mean, I'm looking for a certain thing, not particularly, I don't really care if it's a Rolex or if it's a Seiko. Um, but I like this brand, and uh, I was particularly interested in this watch when I saw it. I didn't know it existed until after I saw it, of course. But um, I really like, I really like Moon Phase watches. And I have another one, too, which is the Gresham, which is also a spectacular watch. But... The Gresham doesn't necessarily give me everything I'm looking for. See, I really love this watch too. It also has a uh, date and day of the week, but this one has actually got the month and the week of the year, which is fantastic, which means now I can sell this one. Uh, but yeah, so I was thr absolutely thrilled when I saw this, you know, and let me just peel off all these things. I already opened it up and um, I cleaned it. This is one I thought was interesting. Like it came with two two covers so you pull the first one off you're like oh okay looks cloudy what's that oh there's another one interesting weird <laughs> but this is the columbus um gosh i mean there's so much to talk about on this watch I, I really have to calm myself down because i've been looking forward to this i am a big fan of moon phase i don't know if it just because i think it looks fancy and i'm just interested in the complication this is a quartz of course so ronda will go into that in a bit but I am just absolutely fascinated by, by the fact that this has a um, moon phase and it's got all these other features and it's a good solid uh, normal watch, three hand watch. I don't need a chronograph all the time, right? What am I timing? I'm not timing anything. How long I'm sitting in my chair at work, maybe I suppose. But this is just a nice, really nice classy watch that I can wear with almost anything. I even like the leather strap. This is fantastic. So I was so happy to get this. Um, oh, what else can I say about it? It's a gorgeous watch. It's rose gold colored. Um, you know, that's, it's popular. I, I'm not, it, it doesn't, isn't like, you know, good or bad. I would have gotten this too if, if I could have gotten it in, if, if I only could have gotten it in a, sort of a chrome or silver finish, but I'm just glad that I have it. Um, I'll go into a little bit more features of the watch, but first let's, uh, let's talk about the movement. It is a Ronda, very nice Swiss movement. So, um, let's discuss that first, and then I'll talk about the watch's features. The Ingersoll Columbus uses the 706.B version of the Ronda Normtech Series 700 movement. The Ronda 700 series of calibers are high-end, multi-complication quartz movements. These watch movements are available with Swiss-made and Swiss parts designations. The 700 series is often found in affordable Swiss luxury timepieces, and there are many variations to the movement. So what are the differences? There are a total of four different versions of the 700 series of movements. The 706.1 has a day of the week at nine o'clock, day at three o'clock, and moon phase at six o'clock. The 706.3 has month at 12 o'clock, day at three o'clock, moon phase at six o'clock, and day of the week at nine o'clock. The 706.4 is most similar to the 706.3, the major difference is that the 706.3 has a moon phase indicator with a disc display and the 706.4 has a moon phase indicator with a hand display. The 706.B, which is used in this watch, has the date at the 3 o'clock, moon phase at 6 o'clock, day of the week at 9 o'clock, month indicator via central hand pointing to the month on the perimeter of the dial. There are two versions of this movement, the Swiss made and the Swiss parts version. Both are nickel plated with one jewel for the Swiss parts and five jewels for the Swiss made. The Swiss parts version will typically be labeled as such, while the Swiss made version will typically state Swiss R9 or Swiss made. The 706 movement takes a 371 battery cell, which supports a very powerful stepping motor. Battery life can be supported by up to 10 years with the hacking feature, but will typically last for five years with the crown engaged. Quality of the movement is quite decent for the cost, 
with a claimed accuracy of plus or minus 10 seconds per month. All right, so now you see that the watch has a fantastic Ronda movement in it. Uh, but before we go any further on the watch, let's kind of just talk about what this uh, watch comes with. Um, so all Ingersolls uh, have a lifetime warranty. And on the manual, you'll see here, it actually emphasizes that. Uh, and that's really spectacular. All watches as of 2016 have a lifetime warranty. And uh, this booklet covers um, history of Ingersoll in multiple languages. It covers almost every single... It, actually, you know what? It does. It has every single movement you can possibly imagine. I mean, look at this. There's even one with a moon phase. Um, well, let me find the English one. I, I don't know. It is, it is wild. There are so many different movements and styles of watches, and it's all covered in here. Also has the uh, warranty information on the back that you fill out, and you can call them if you, if you want. Um, this box is solid wood. Uh, that's one of the things that I really love about about this, you know, and, and I've, I've always said it in every one of my videos. Um, and normally, I don't really care about the boxes. I mean, I, if it wasn't for the fact that sometimes I resell some of these watches, I would just throw the boxes away because what am I going to do with these boxes? But um, it is, it's fantastic. I mean, very well made. And of course, this is gray market. Um, and I've talked about gray market before, and I am going to make a video on that. But, um, you know, it's a, a leather bound <laughs> clip to put the, the watch in. Um, you guys have all seen these in, in all my videos. It's a solid piece of pewter. Um, it's the authenticity card, kind of interesting. I think it's cool. Doesn't really do much, sort of a paperweight. Um, but very well packaged. I mean, you really do get your money's worth with these watches. So this watch in particular um, is uh, retails $795. I don't remember what I paid for this one, but uh, the Columbus is a, it's sort of a rare watch. Uh, I don't know if, um, you know, I checked eBay to see what's available and they're all running uh, $400. Now that's not what I paid, but really is, um, worth that money because where can you get a watch that has all these features is good quality Swiss movement. Uh, you know, it's a full Swiss made movement, uh, moon phase and, and all these other features. You just, you just can't. Um, so let's talk about the functionality. So, and I'll use the stick to kind of point to it. So you see this, this is in fact the day of the week. Now for those who get paid by weeks, you know, um, how many weeks there are in the pay period. There's 52, or if you get paid bi-weekly, then you've got 26. Um, so that's there, and you can see the month. It's, it's pretty spectacular. This is dead accurate. Um, you have the day, the date of the week, which is uh, 1 through the 31st. Sometimes you just have to add or subtract or let it go, right? <laughs> and then you've got, um, you've got the day of the week, which is spectacular, and that shows you, it, it can also be used sort of as a 24 hour clock, right? If it's in between, then it means it's in the transition between the two days, which would mean that it is past uh, 12 o'clock p.m., so it's in the afternoon. Uh, and then of course the moon phase. Um, this button right here controls the the day. I'm sorry, This the day has to be controlled literally by spinning it around um, 14 times for a complete rotation. This one controls the uh, the week, and so that goes around, but you don't have to do it one by one. It, it, these are, in fact, controlled by the movement as well, but if you want to adjust it, you do it that way. Um, and this one, of course, changes the day, uh, you know, one, one click at a time. And it, it works, it works really well. This is a very classy, nice watch to be able to wear, um, with a suit, something like this, and just be happy with the fact that it's got all these features. It does have a sapphire crystal, um, which is which is very awesome. Uh, I really, really like the fact that it has that. It's not just three layer, it is in fact actually sapphire, and you can even see it's even slightly domed, which is very neat. And I've already opened this up and I've cleaned it up, but a domed sapphire crystal is, is just spectacular. It has uh, 3 16 stainless steel, uh, which is good quality. Um, it is sort of a PVD gold coating finish, which is very nice. Um, it is 5 ATM water resistant, which I think is important because nobody's going to ever take this swimming. But you could, in fact, actually swim with this. This is 5 ATM or 5 bar for my 
uh, Canadian and uh, international friends. Uh, but you also get 50 meters uh, water resistant from this and you can swim. And of course, I'll put the chart up there, right up there. And you can see that's, um, that's basic swimming. That is um, splash resistance, you know, shower, uh, sink, all that stuff. And it's quite good. I mean, these, you know, I, I open this up and I'm not selling this by any means. But I, I greased all the seals, including the ones for there as well. Good, solid construction. You would have seen the pictures on it um, when I was doing the movement video. But, man, I am I'm really pleased with this watch. I don't think there's much really to show with the loom. But let's go ahead and do a loom shot before I do anything else. Yeah, not bad. You get the, the hour minute hand and the second hand, which is all you can really expect. I mean, you're not going to be wearing this doing uh, any, any kind of nighttime activities or sports. This is just a very classy everyday watch. Uh, and this one is definitely going to my watch box. And it me getting this allows me to free up a couple watches, um, including this Gresham, which, which I will say is a gorgeous watch. And I bought it because it has moon phase. Um, but... You know, I'm just glad that uh, I can sort of pare it down because this one's a, it's a bit smaller. This is for a normal size person, but I have, I have really big, big uh, hands and wrists. And so this just really kind of suits my needs and uh, really makes me happy. Um, and I, I wasn't necessarily a fan of the bracelet on a watch of this of this style. It is very nice and I like the finish, but, um, you know, no reason to have two two um, moon phase watches. Uh, let's see, what else can I talk about? All right, we'll do um, some measurements now. I don't have to measure this one diagonally because it is mostly styled like a tank watch, and you can see tank, it's basically square. Um, I have a couple of those somewhere else. I think you guys have seen this before. 42 millimeters even. Let's check the... 22 millimeter lug and the depth should probably be about 14 is my guess 14 and a half okay and that's at the center so that's not bad it's a good sized watch but not ridiculously so uh what else can i talk about it has a deployment clasp which which i have learned to really appreciate i didn't like them before but a lot of people just don't understand how to properly use them um you know you set it and then you put one side in first, and then the other side, it just slides right in, um, and it, it just works well. I haven't adjusted this one. I haven't even worn it yet. So, but um, it's very pretty, very classy. A lot of people are, are liking the pulling class more and more, and that includes myself. Uh, the watch is styled. It's it's uh, branded on the, on the face, uh, on the back, on the leather, and on the deployment clasp as well, and even on the side, which I think is quite neat. Uh, all right, you know, there's there's not much else to talk about. I've really butchered this video because I was just so excited about getting this that I just really wanted to open it up and shoot through this so I can start to wear it. Um, but um, hope you liked this video. Uh, if you want to see more watches like this, uh, please subscribe. I really appreciate it. I do not make any money off of this. I do sell a lot of the watches, not this one, but I do sell a lot of the watches that I, that I review. And uh, that kind of makes it worthwhile. It doesn't, it, you know, I don't, again, I don't get any money from the videos themselves, but I enjoy it. And then it helps me keep them because if I ever miss the watch, I can go watch the video again. But uh, please leave a like and uh, leave your comments below on anything that you're interested in on this watch. Any new watches you think I should review and what your thoughts are on this watch. And again, please subscribe. Thank you very much.